One of the reasons we were so sad to miss last year is that uh, we wanted to be here for the tribute to our good buddy Owen Five that we lost in the previous year. And uh, when we were thinking ahead of you know, keeping his material alive, I asked Ken what uh, what Owen song would you really like to learn. And he said, oh, I really like that Russian one. And I said, well, okay, it's Ukrainian, but whatever. And, uh, and he said, but I'd rather sing it in English. And I go, okay, well, I'll translate it for you. And I started to translate. And it kind of comes down to, uh, boy, you are a pretty girl. Let me play for you on my alpine horn. <laughs> So imagine, yeah, Rico, yeah, imagine this guy, you know, I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so look at it like not so much. Like, it's, it's really powerful music. It really deserves meatier lyrics. And so I looked at the map, and, and where the Hutzels live is this little spur of the Ukraine that tucks up into the mountains. The Carpabian Mountains. And on the other side of the Carpabian Mountains is Sigizora, Transylvania. Uh -oh. But a little boy named Juan was born. And I thought I could work with that. <laughs> because Torlan um, has kind of a reputation now, and not all of it is undeserved, but he is to this day still a national hero in Romania and Latvia. And he was decorated by the Pope during his lifetime because he was such a, a pain in the side of the Ottoman Empire that they never got their act together to actually attack the throne of the Pope. This was their plan. And uh, so he kind of saved the Pope's bacon, so the Pope thought he was a great guy. Um, he did have a tendency to wipe out people. And when, uh, the, uh, when he became prince, or Vojvodina of Wallachia, the, uh, the Ottoman Empire sent, uh, sent their emissaries. And he was looking to pick a fight anyway, but they came in and said, where's our money? And he said, well, I'm not going to be paying you anymore. And by the way, why don't you take your hats off in my presence? And they said, well, these are turbans. They don't come off. And he said, I can help you with that and have them nailed to your heads. So, you know, he was that kind of guy. But he was, he was the way he was because uh, his father, at, at the age of five, uh, Lodge was inducted into the Order of the Dragon, which is a Romanian order of knighthood with one aim, and that is the protection of Christendom. And so he was indoctrinated from a very early age to uh, do anything he had to do to keep the unbelievers out of their land and to protect Christendom. <laughs> And when uh, when Vlad was 12, his father became prince, and Vlad and his younger brother Radu were sent to the Ottoman court as hostages. And Vlad was old enough to understand that his life was in danger from one moment to the next. And Radu totally drank the Kool-Aid. People were nice to him, they gave him good food, and he converted to his mom and eventually betrayed his brother and you know, what with one thing and another. Um, they made a really serious mistake because they managed to seize Vlad and instead of cutting his head off, they put him in prison. This was a mistake. So uh, as our song opens, Vlad is in prison for treason and uh, plotting the next step. And this is called the dragon.
state is lowly. But my calling is holy. Though the wheel may turn slowly, I will have what is mine. Prince to reign by law and reason, O oh, crusader for a season, and be trade and held for treason. Prison is the price of trust. I am the dragon, but the saints do not fear me, they protect and they hear me, heaven guards its design, my seat is lowly, but my call Memento mori All you are will come to dust I am the dragon But the saints do not fear me They protect and they hear me Heaven guards its desire But my calling is holy, though the wheel may turn slowly, I will have what is mine, I will have what is mine, I will have what is mine.